Hey everybody! Hey! Hi! Welcome to another video! But not just any, any video! A vlog video! Again! And guess what tomorrow is? Tomorrow's Halloween! I can't wait for Halloween! Halloween is my favorite... Um, it's my favorite holiday right after Christmas. Just like the Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm excited for Halloween. You want to know why? Why? Because on Halloween night, you get to wear costumes, and you get to wear, like, um, you get to go trick-or-treating, knock on somebody's door, and yell, trick-or-treat, on my feet. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm excited for Halloween. Everybody knows why. Because you're you're excited to go trick or treating. Yes, I am. I am excited for Halloween, just like that kid from California. So yeah, um, I haven't decided what I was gonna be for Halloween yet, but I was um, I'm just gonna you know, yeah. <laughs> you might be thinking I'm actually going trick or treating with Doc Rick. Well. Maybe at one point. <coughs> Excuse me. No, well, anyways. I'm excited for Halloween. So, yeah. Um. Today, I was just, uh, looking at all the Halloween decorations. And suddenly, I found this one Halloween decoration that was close to somebody's house. That was close to, you know. There was this one Halloween decoration. There was a door in one of Dockbridge's neighbors. And that had this really cool Halloween banner. And it's a witch themed one too. And I thought, oh, that's a really cool Halloween decoration. Look at that. They got the pumpkins out. Uh, one of them got squashed actually. But however, there was a Charlie Brown pumpkin. And it looked perfect from there. I mean, it was just drawn by marker. It wasn't carved or anything like that. And, uh, yeah. And I got to see the really cool Halloween decorations. Well, not inside, but the outdoor ones. I mean, they had some really cool Halloween lights. I mean, it fitted perfectly for the Halloween season. I liked it a lot. Especially the banners that say, Welcome, welcome. Or whatever it said. I wasn't paying too much attention to the banners. But I do now. I actually got to see the Halloween, um, decorations outdoors yeah too bad nobody even got an inflatable but oh well hey what you gonna do i mean that halloween door i saw fits perfectly for halloween the neighbors must have done a pretty good job on it and uh yeah anyways so yeah i'm just like so excited for halloween can't wait to go trick-or-treating with dog bird being as ghost face tomorrow yep i'm actually gonna be dressed up as ghost face that's cool! I've been also thinking about the kid from, Alip from California. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you got it. Edo Pal 3. Now, Edo Pal 3. We all know who he is. Yeah, everybody knows who he is, and so do I. Especially on my second channel, Mau Mau Gumball FTW. My Mau. Oh, sorry, I keep. I have a misprint. No, no, no. What was the name of your second channel again? Oh yeah, it's Mau Mau Gumball Bluey FTW Sesame Street uh, Two Times Go FTL 2004. Ah, oh, I have to search that up. Too bad I don't have a channel yet. Well, you will someday, Minnie. Someday you will. Yeah, but anyway, I can't wait for Halloween. I'm excited. I jacked up for Halloween. Get it? Jacked? <laughs> like Jack O' Lantern? <laughs> 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 no? Nobody gets my joke? Uh, that's fine. But yeah, it's so funny. I'm jacked up for Halloween. What I'm trying to say is hyped. I'm so excited. I can't wait to go check the trade. This is going to be a lot of fun. I'm kidding. So, yes. About the kid from California. Um. In case you didn't know. Uh. Dr. Sicktow made a community post about his ghost face costume. At one point, he mentioned a kid from California named Anna Pal 3. But unfortunately, he didn't tell 
backward what Oedipal 3 is going to be for Halloween. He didn't tell what he's going to be for Halloween. I know. I'm waiting for him to see what he's going to be. Yeah. Yet, I remember last year, I think he was dressed up as a... What was he dressed up again last year? He was dressed up as a hot dog. Oh, yeah! I always wonder what he was dressed up last year. Last year you were dressed up as Jack Skeleton, right? Yep, I was dressed up as Jack Skeleton. But I ended up having to wear face paint. Because, um... When one of my family members, one of my folks, were trying to look for my Jack Skeleton costume, unfortunately, they didn't find the mask of Jack Skeleton. So instead, they had to... Well, the only thing they could find that could resemble to a costume is the Jack Skellington, uh, coat. Yeah, I remember. Especially the pants, which fitted perfectly with the back tie. Yeah. So, yeah. Last year, Dogbert was Jack Skellington. But unfortunately, he had to wear face paint, which is stupid. They didn't have the mask. Spare Halloween didn't carry them, which sucks. I know. That's why I had to end up wearing face paint. And when I, um... At one point, Classic AJ saw my photo of me dressed up as Jack Skellington. He was doing a quote of Jack Skellington from the Nightmare Before Christmas film. I think I remember that. Wasn't I there? No, you weren't. You weren't. Um, last year, you, you didn't make videos of me. Well, I'm sorry! I just couldn't, you know... I was so nervous to start a video or whatever with you in October. It's okay. Yeah, it's just that I get easily nervous, okay? I just get goosebumps. I get goosebumps every time. <laughs> get it like the song? No? What about the book? The book series of Goosebumps by R.L. Stein. You know Goosebumps? Yeah, I know Goosebumps. I think I've read one of the Goosebumps books. Especially the one about Happy Slappy, the, ventrilo the haunted ventriloquist dummy. Yeah, I wrote about Happy Slappy, the ventriloquist dummy from the Goosebumps series. Yeah, I think I've read that one before. Hey, believe it or not, it was actually quite horrifying at one point. Since, I guess, the Goosebumps series makes uh, kids want to, uh, you know, they make them want to, sh to uh, shake and shiver like the Scooby-Doo song. Shake and shiver and rattle their bones. And that would give them the shivers. Hey, tell me about it. All the Goosebumps books are really cool. I never read them, but I've seen them out there, but I never read them. But I've heard about the TV show from the old days. Oh, yeah. I remember Goosebumps used to do a TV series. Yeah, they did in the old days. What year was it when the show first premiered? I don't remember. But I do know I think the show was around somewhere in the 1990s. Yeah, but I do remember the Goosebumps series, too. Yeah, the Goosebumps show, I remember no, not. wasn't there a movie of Goosebumps? Yes, with Jack Black. Oh, yeah! I do remember that movie of Goosebumps. There was indeed a movie of Goosebumps with Jack Black in it as the author, the author of the Goosebumps series. Wasn't he as the author? Yes, in the movie at the end, I think. Yeah, I remember. And it was Halloween themed in that, um, in the movie. Everybody was wearing costumes. And, uh, yeah. Speaking of costumes... Unfortunately, when, um, Robert asked the kid from California named Edda Patrick was going to be for Halloween, unfortunately, Edda Patrick didn't say anything. Instead, he said, Heck yeah, I am! I am excited for Halloween! Hmm, I wonder what Edda Patrick is going to be dressed up this year. I don't know, Minnie. I don't know what is Edda Patrick going to be dressed up for Halloween. Oh, I know! Is he going to be dressed up as a banana? Maybe. Who knows? Unless, if I make... Halloween vlog in my second channel. Oh yeah, right. I remember you used to do that Halloween vlog last year, right? Yes, when I was dressed up at Jack Skeleton. Nobody did make fun of me. Yeah, I realized that. Anyway, so yeah, folks, Halloween is coming tomorrow, and I'm hyped! Are you? Yes, I am. So yes, there'll be lots of Halloween fun tomorrow. The goose, the garbage. <laughs> like the Bobby Boris song. Speaking of Bobby Boris. Oh, sorry. Just ignore him. Just ignore him. I was trying to get this, uh, dandy Frankenstein right here. Just ignore the person who's controlling me. Just ignore him. He's just... He's using me as a helping hand. 
just ignore him, okay? He's not, you know, he's not shirtless or anything. He's wearing his, uh, gumbo shirt. Can you show me the camera? Maybe later. Oh, okay. But anyway, speaking of Bobby Boris, Dandy Frankenstein. Now, I think we got this in the mail the other day. Believe it or not, he actually did videos of this. Yeah, and I did. And I'm looking forward on doing a review on it soon. As a spooky review. Just like how Classic AJ did his review on the, uh, on the said Dandy Frankenstein, but it's not the plush one that vibrates. The one he had was the one that does, that shares the same exact mechanism as the Magogo Gorillas. You know, the one that's in Macarena. Oh, yeah! I've seen those out there. Wait, you have? Yeah. So, basically, you're going to do a spooky review tomorrow, like Classic AJ with that dandy Frankenstein? Yes, I am. That's cool! I want to be a part of it! Um, I don't know. I have to think about it after trick-or-treating. Aw, okay. Let me know if you... Let me know if you want to add me in your review. Okay, then. So, yeah, folks. Halloween is just around the corner. Can't wait to go trick-or-treating. So, yes. I haven't decided for ha I haven't decided what I'm going to be for Halloween. I was thinking of, you know, becoming Harry Potter. You know, with his wand. But unfortunately, I don't have a costume. I wish I did have a costume. But I'm above it. And I'm controlled by somebody, which is... I hope you're wearing a glove. You're not doing that physical thing, aren't you? No, I'm not. That's how I control your mouth. Oh, good. So, yes. Can't wait for Halloween. Halloween's gonna be the best holiday of our lives. And good year. So, yeah, Halloween 2023 is gonna be the best day of our life. And, uh, yeah. Looking forward. And hopefully the spooky review will be uploaded tomorrow. If Doc would have spare time after trick or treating, hopefully he'll add me. Of course, Minnie, I will add you at one. Don't worry. Okay. Uh. uh. Alright. Well. <sighs> Unfortunately. So, yeah, I'm sorry if I haven't shown up in the last Halloween video from 2022. I'm sorry about that. It's okay. But I will appear. Ooh. When you go trick or treating, are you gonna get crackles? Yeah, I'm gonna get crackles. Maybe. But I have to brush my teeth, because, you know, I don't want to end up with cavities like my brother. Oh! In case you didn't know. Um, one of Duckwood's folks has a cavity. That's why they couldn't eat, because they ended up having tooth decay. So, yeah. Well, I hope you better brush your teeth before you eat some candy. One time, I think I remember this. One time last Halloween, when that one was dressed up as Jai Skeleton, unfortunately, I ate all the candy. Unfortunately, my stomach so was so hurt, I couldn't eat a single bite. I was there like I was about to urge to throw up, and all of a sudden, you know how the old saying goes, what comes up, must come down. These are this new, I knew, I effed up, like eating Dabber's candy. <laughs> so yeah, I wasn't feeling very well after Halloween. I ate one of Dogbert's candy and especially that crackle. My stomach was so sore from eating all that candy. Why did you do that, Minnie? How could you? I'm sorry, I can't help it. Look, it's just that crackers didn't fill me up. So I had to end up eating Dogbert's candy anyway. Next time, don't eat my candy anyway. Just eat crackles instead. You want me to eat crackers? No, crackles. <sighs> Fine. But still, hopefully you'll find some crackles. I will, Minnie. Don't worry. But yeah, folks. <sighs> I'm sorry, like I said, I didn't show up in the last Halloween video from 2022. But now this year, I'm actually going to appear. Right after Dr. goes trick-or-treating. Right. And I realize it's going to rain tomorrow. I realize it's going to rain tomorrow during trick-or-treating. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, man. So basically, you're going to have to do, like, a couple of houses so your brother's feet get sore? Yep. Oh, man. That sucks. It sucks beaver balls. 
But I hope it doesn't rain, okay? I hope not. I mean, we're just only gonna, we're not gonna go far away. Right. But, yeah. Uh, anyways. Um. Yeah, folks. Um. I mean, Dagger didn't go to a Halloween party or whatever. He just stayed home afterwards. Got to, got to eat one of his candy, especially his crackers. Look, I'm sorry I did I ate your candy. It's okay. I owe you a crackle. Yay! I want crackles! Wait, Manny, that's till tomorrow. Tomorrow's Halloween. I find crackles for you. Oh, okay then. But still, this is going to be the best Halloween ever of our lives! Isn't it? Yep. So yeah, folks. Hope you wear a costume tomorrow, because tomorrow is Halloween. Well, hopefully I find a good costume too. But I'm excited for Halloween. Hopefully I won't eat Dark Candy. Uh, 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 uh. Excuse me. So yeah, folks. Um, that was pretty much it of today's vlog. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Tomorrow on Halloween. Bye. Happy Halloween, people. Bye.